All right, everybody, welcome back to the second channel. We're gonna do another Reddit video today. I've got a sparkling water. This one is completely brandless sparkling water. I poured just some random ass shit into this cup, so you will never know what it is. First off, before we get into it, I will have to be keeping things a little bit more brand friendly today. I received limited ads on my last Reddit video, I think because the thumbnail was so hot and spicy. So from here on out, no more talking about adult rat content. So if that's what you came here for, sorry. Bye. I've been keeping up with the subreddit a little bit. It looks like lots of people are posting on there. So I'm very excited to see what's new. I'm very excited to see what's been popping off. Now it's not loading. Do I not have internet? Is Reddit just broken right now? What's going on? Can I load anything? Google.com. Google. Google.com slash G, no, not my mail. Yeah, today we're gonna be going through my email. Off to a disastrous start right off the bat. Okay, it's loading now. So I'm thinking it's been two weeks since I've been on the subreddit. So let's go top of the month again. I'm sure there's gonna be some good stuff here. Posted in the last two weeks. I just found this pic I took of Danny at VidCon in 2016. Holy shit. <laughs> What? what is this picture? Were you pointing a gun at me? What the hell? It's kind of giving off the same vibe as the picture that someone took of me in the last Reddit video with me and Curtis, where we're kind of like, right? Didn't someone say we like look super uncomfortable? I look so nervous. Maybe that's just my posture. Maybe I just sit like that. Can we get a quick posture check? Do I just look nervous? Do I just have nervous guy posture? That's quite possible. But I am gripping that microphone like it's the only thing keeping me from flying off into space. Love that caption too. He saw me! It kind of sounds like frightened. Oh shit, he saw me, he's gonna get me. Meanwhile, I'm like, don't nobody ever look at me. I remember the context of this picture, despite it being six years ago. This was when Vine was still around. Obviously, as you, you might be able to tell by the giant V behind me, this is the Vine logo. This is the summer that we did Camp Unplugged, which if you didn't know, was like a short film series of Vines that was produced by Vine, so I was at VidCon because I was in that. And I believe I was doing some sort of Q&A panel with my boy, Chris Melberger. That's my boy right there, Chris. That's my boy! That scene from Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. That's my boy! My boy! Let's see what the comments are on this. Oh my God, he looks so uncomfortable. I've never seen a more uncomfortable human being. And the person who posted this said, I know, right? I feel bad. Six years later, this person still feels bad. I don't know why I looked so nervous. I got probably always just a little bit uncomfortable at these sorts of things, so. That makes sense. Probably to you for like being a fan of me for six years. That's crazy that you took this picture and then are still like in my subreddit, active on my subreddit. That's really cool. I like that you circled this face as if we were going to get confused on who you're talking about. You know, the guy in the background does like vaguely look like me. So it kind of makes sense. You'd be like, no, this one is Danny. That one is, oh, I don't know who that guy is. The one who looks like he is about to poop his pants. That's our boy, Dan. Uncomfy King. We stand an uncomfortable King. Not the uncomfortable eye contact. Yeah, everybody is commenting on how utterly depressing this picture is. I wish he'd move over so we could see if Curtis or Drew is there. Probably not in this picture, but Drew definitely was there because he was in Camp Unplugged too. So he was around, he was certainly at VidCon at this time. Why is his ass not in the seat all the way? Danny's straight up sitting on the edge. Oh my God, dude. These people are tearing me to shreds. I deserve it too. That's the worst part. All right, I'm going to recreate the picture. All right. Six years later. Oh, take me back to this, dude. I got to recreate this. Let's see. I think I have a microphone. Content creator can't find a microphone? What is this? All right, this, this'll have to do. Not the appropriate kind, really, but. Let's make sure I'm sitting on the very edge of the seat. Yeah, let me try to get in my mindset here of what the hell I was doing. And my arms are on the seat rest. How have I grown? Tell me, do I look as though I've aged? Okay, that was me in 2016. This is me now, ready? If you took a, if you saw me at a panel now, this is how I'd be. That's good, you want a picture? Sure. No, I probably wouldn't even be looking at you. I'd be asleep. I'm so confident I just fell asleep. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Boring. I'm so confident I'm just bored all the time. That's a pretty funny picture. I remember actually, this VidCon was one of the first times I realized I have like serious resting bitch face. Uh, good friend Aaron Tuning was there as well for VidCon. He, he was a Viner too. He was like watching me take pictures with people. And he said like every time I would take a picture with someone, I would like lean over and smile like this. And then the second it was over, I would just be like, yeah, thanks. And I would do that like after every picture. I think he took a video of it too. When he told me that, it it pretty much ruined my life. Have you ever seen me out in public and I look like I'm dead inside? It's cause that's just how 
my face is. Please, Danny, react to this. I'm begging you. The pregnancy pack. Okay, this looks to be some sort of classroom. Is this movie about a bunch of teenagers getting pregnant? Because that is actually a very odd topic for a movie. This looks so bad. What is this movie? I gotta find out what this is. The pregnancy pack. Is it really gonna be about teen girls getting pregnant? 28-year-old Sydney Bloom, an alumna of Gloucester High School, publishes a video blog about teen issues. Learning that her old high school has reported 10 to 18 Teen, teen pregnancies in the last eight weeks. Sydney investigates the situation. So it's about a 28 year old investigating why a bunch of teens have become pregnant. Whoa, okay. I just read a really graphic part of the plot that I could not include in this video because we're not talking about adult content, but I just saw some crazy stuff in there. Yeah, I'll look into this movie. That seems like a really weird plot. Is it just me or does this look like Danny? Yeah, that does look like me. I feel like I've seen this before. Have I talked about this picture before? Does it kind of look like he's making this face? <laughs> I look like the tree. When I saw this on the subreddit, I was with my dad and I showed it to him and he was like, why? Why is your face like that? And come to think of it, I gotta agree with him. Danny Tree Zalis. Dan Tree. I don't think it's gonna work, guys. I don't think making a, a tree pun based off my name is gonna work. Based on these two, can't wait for him to be mildly offended and then agree. Did I do that? Can we get an instant replay? Yeah, that does look like me. Okay, guys, who updated Danny's Wikipedia? So after the last Reddit video, I jokingly asked people to put my personal information in the subreddit. And looks like somebody took it upon themselves to do that. Daniel James Gonzalez, that is my actual middle name, is an American YouTuber, musician, and former Viner. He lives at 460 Vale Way, nautical coordinates being this. Danny's blood type is B minus. B negative, I guess. It's not a grade. Danny's blood type gets a B minus from me. But if he's willing to put in some extra work outside the classroom, I could bring it up to a solid B plus. Length of his head is approximately 14 centimeters. That does not seem correct. How many inches is that? Five inches? Is it, what is, what is the length of my head mean? Is that this way or? This way or this way? I feel like this is width, and this is depth, and this is height. So what's length? But at any rate, my head is not five inches tall. And also like all of these things are also incorrect. So no need to defend me or anything. This is not correct. Someone said that they looked up the address and it's in Los Angeles. So let's actually see where this person is making up where I live. 460 Vale Way. All right, let's see. 460 Mossy Vale Way in Atlanta. Where's Vale Way, dog? 460 Vale Way in Boulder Creek, California, dude. Let's see what's there. Is this a real place? What if I drop this person down here and it went to a street view and I was just like standing there? I'm just like sitting in the grass like I really live there, but there's not a house there. I can't go to street view, guys. Guess we'll never know. Even though I live in Illinois and not California. Okay, this is as close as we can get. So maybe we can peer down the road. Anyone down there? That'd be, that would be so funny if I was just standing right there. That would have been like kind of an epic prank. And are these coordinates the correct coordinates? I don't even know how to look. Uh, nautical coordinates. I don't know how precise these have to be. It's also in California, which is kind of impressive, but it's in a di totally different place. All right, well, let's see where this shit is. Shoop. There it is. There's my house, guys. Do you like it? Pretty house. But alas, it is not mine. Why does this have so many upvotes? Pinterest find, and it's just a picture of me sporting some Christmas pajamas. <laughs> Someone said, please, how is this real? I was just trying on some pajamas, okay? I think this is from like five years ago, but I was definitely feeling myself. That's for sure. And I did buy these. I think Laura and I got matching pajamas, actually. It reminds me of a reindeer by the way he's standing. Is that because my legs are like curved inward like that? Like I'm some sort of hooved animal? Damn, he's got a fat ass and legs like a antelope. Is this real? Is this real? I swear to God, dude, this is too good to be true. Danny absolutely dripped out in some Christmas pajajays? Yes, it's real, okay? I was feeling myself. Is this just me or do I look like Danny? You do look like Danny. All right, let's get a side by side. Vote now. I feel like he does look like me. He's even got blue eyes. The hairstyle's kind of similar. Way to go, dude. You did it. No, that's Danny Donzales. Oh, yeah. That's Donnie Gorgonzola. Is this just Danny trying to disguise himself again? Maybe. You'll never know. Does this feel exactly like something Danny would say, or am I just sleep deprived? Sleep is for the week, then I guess I'm a little baby, bro. Yeah, I guess I'm a little sleepy little guy. <laughs> I'm a little snoozer. I guess I'm a little goo goo ga ga ass bitch then, dude. It does kind of sound like something I would say. I feel like it sounds more like something Curtis would say. Someone broke it down to the different lines that they think would be read by different people. So Drew says, sleep is for the week. Then I guess I'm a little baby, bro. Then I say, yeah, I guess I'm a little sleepy guy, a little snoozer. And then Curtis says, I guess I'm a little goo goo ass bitch then, dude. All right, I'll read the whole thing. I'll put my whole heart into it. You guys tell me what you think. Sleep is for the week. Then I guess I'm a little baby, bro. Yeah, I guess I'm a a little sleepy little guy, a little snoozer. I guess I'm a little goo goo ga ga ass bitch then, dude. You know, when I read it that way, it actually did kind of sound like something I would say.
Because I did. I got a Greg beanie for my dad whose name is Greg. Yo. Dad check. Dude, he looks awesome. Look at this guy. The first one looks like whoever posted this took it for him. His child. And then the next one, he was at work the next day. And he's like, still wearing the beanie. He's proud of it now. Dripping the hell out. Is he a doctor? Dr. Greg. I guess it's not that impressive that his name is Greg because everybody who watches my video's name is Greg. But it, you know, it's nice to see a dad fan. I don't get dad fans often. And I'm assuming that's you in the background. Is this you? Or is this you? Or is this both the same person? Is this a current photo? Are you three years old? Nice, dude. I usually don't get three-year-old fans and their dad being fans. That's awesome. Danny on Reddit, Nutcracker posts. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's cool and all. I'm glad when people look at Nutcrackers, they think of me. Cause you know, I'm sort of like, I'm sort of attention hacking like that. I sort of love being on the tip of people's minds, but I kind of just like that Nutcracker. Other Nutcrackers don't really do it for me. Pretty much just that one. And that's not even a Nutcracker. He's just a, he's a toy soldier decoration. His name is Little Nutcracker Guy. If you put a nut in that guy, he's not gonna crack it, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Gonna tell my kids this was Danny, Drew, and Curtis. Okay, this seems like something we would do. <laughs> Actually, I think we have a picture that's pretty similar to this. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, I don't know if I have it on my phone. Where would that be? I think it's with Chris Melberger, actually. Let's see if I can find this shit. Come on. There is a picture of us standing like that somewhere. Like literally with our arms out like that. I like can picture where we took this picture. I can picture the picture. All right, well, it's official. I can't find it. So, sorry. Who do you think is who? I wonder if people are debating it in the comments, but I think there's a pretty clear answer here. This is me. This is Curtis, and that's true. I think we can all agree. Even though you can barely see this, but I feel like this guy actually kind of looks like me. If anyone's got Curtis's hair, it's this guy. This guy's hair kind of looks like Drew's. Deadass thought the middle was Curtis. Okay. Let's see if my ranking is correct. Here's shown from left to right, Drew, Curtis, Danny. Nope. Incorrect. This person agrees. The right is Drew. I was gonna say left to right, Danny, Curtis, Drew. That is correct. Why does the one on the left actually look like Danny though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Danny was three feet tall as a kid. Yeah, that's true. I was really small as a kid. I wouldn't have been able to get up there. My friends would have had to hoist me up. Dude, this is kind of sick. Minecraft fan art? Okay, I asked for fan art in the subreddit. Thank you for delivering. Here we go. Look at that. Dude, that's sick. That's really good. It looks just like my Minecraft character. We got some redstone in the background. We got some lapis lazuli. I don't know why I've got a wooden shovel though. That's kind of messed up. Couldn't give your boy some dimey. Yeah, I want to see if there's more fan art in here. Give me some fan art. That's actually really cool. Wow. It's like, it's like all, <laughs> I was gonna say it's all fucked up, but I mean it in a good way. Like weird, but really cool. Wow, that's awesome. This is really fucked up. No, it's cool. Someone said very charming. I would agree with that. Very charming. Me trapped in Danny's basement, people having fun. That's kind of fucked up. You should not have Wi-Fi down there. And you definitely shouldn't have a phone. How the hell did you post this? And how are your hands free? Dude, my guy in the basement's been practicing his Troom Troom kidnapping life hacks. That's awesome. Danny needs to dress himself up as the nutcracker with the face paint and stuff and then edit himself into the corner to see if we notice to see if you'll notice is there a chance that no one would notice if instead of that back there it was me a full-sized real person what if he has already been doing this i have not you would notice i swear to god if there was a real person back there you would definitely notice okay that's some nice fan art as well we got some memes we got some fan art that's what I'm talking about. We got some personal information. I'd say that uh, subreddit doesn't really get much better than this, guys. I redesigned Danny's office. Huh. You put my little U2s there. My U2s actually is in the background. It's right, right there. So now he's there twice, you idiot. No, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I really vibe with the style. It kind of looks like a little kid's room, which I do think is the aesthetic that I did go for in the last office. So I understand why you feel this way. But no, I don't know. I need to get some new shit in here. It's it's getting a little bit boring. That um little cubby thing, I've had for like six years and I got it in our apartment in California. And then it's sort of just been like floating around in miscellaneous places and various places. And I kind of feel like I want to get like actual nice looking furniture in here. I don't want it to be too cool though, because then you'll it'll be too distracting. And then no one will look at me during my videos if my office is too cool looking. Some YouTubers have their studios look a little bit too professional, I feel like too, where they've got like LED lighting all over the place and it's all super sleek looking. And it's like, I feel like that makes it look like I'm taking myself a little too seriously. And if I'm gonna film second channel videos in here where I'm getting goofy and wacky, then it can't look too over the top serious. I just want it to look nice. Next subreddit challenge, somebody redesign my office in a cool style that you think fits me. Cause I don't know what style fits me, dude. Another screenshot from a video. Very nice, guys. Good work. 
You did it. Anyone know where I can find a similar lamp? Dude, just wait for me to get my office redesigned. You can have this one. I'm about to kick that shit to the curb once I get a, a cool new office. No, it's from Target. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm almost positive that I got it from Target. Let's see if anyone in the comments guessed it. I think it's this one from Target. Yeah, let's see. Dude. <laughs> it is. So if you want to get it, we can be lamp buddies for a limited time. Sleepy time peanut. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this in the subreddit a couple days ago, I literally almost cried. Yeah, that's really sweet, dude. That's so cute. Thank you for that. I want to print this shit out and put it in a frame, honestly. Hang it up in my house. She's so cute. Look at her. Chubby little dog. Did Danny get highlights? I've seen some discourse about my gray hairs lately. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think he has gray hairs. Yeah, they are. They're just gray hairs, man. It's kind of interesting that people have just started noticing it now because I've actually had gray hairs in my head for a while it's just i guess it hasn't gotten noticeable until now but my dad is has always had just like a streak like this much hair right here was white he has like brown almost black hair and he just had a streak of white hair right here for like his whole life so i guess i just have a little bit of that genetics because it's kind of it kind of is like just in one streak and then i've got some little peppering all around my hair kind of but isn't he like 27 i'm 26 and i have a few gray hairs lmao it happens sadly although to be frank it looks great on danny yo thank you I, i'm not really self-conscious about it honestly i think it looks kind of cool sheesh danny is getting gray hairs and he's not even 30 yet yeah buster and it's because of you it's all your fault you guys make me watch these shitty ass videos and these bad movies and the stress is slowly turning me into an old, old man. Actually, not slowly. It's quickly turning me into an old, old man. I googled oldest man in the world. This is about to be me in a year. If I keep this up at the rate I'm going, burning the candle at both ends, man, this is how I'm gonna be. And you better believe I'm gonna look damn good doing it. No, Danny is aging? It is weird, though, because I do have, you know, people say I have a young face. It is weird that, like, that's the first sign of, like, me looking my age is having white hair. But honestly, I'd fuck with it. If the only way that I show age is by having, like, totally white hair, that would be sick. Okay, that's enough top of the month. Let's see what's hot right now. Okay, this is a post from a different subreddit, but it has me in it. I had a dream that Danny Gonzalez completely disappeared for a month, and then he posted this photo on Twitter with no explanation. Later, it turned out to be a clue in a giant cicada 3301-like internet ARG. Yeah, I don't know what uh, the last half of that means, but it, it I am curious about this dream. So I disappeared for a month and then posted this. Please find me. <laughs> Follow the cat. That's such an ominous <laughs> thing to post after being missing for a month. That's so fucking funny. What is this subreddit? Thomas the Plank Engine? Memes from your dreams. Oh, okay. So it's all about weird shit people saw in their dreams. One weird thing that I feel like I, I have never seen people mention before about being an influencer is that sometimes people like tag me in tweets being like, you were in my dream last night. It's super weird to think that like people that I don't know are having dreams about me because see normal for like your friend to be like hey you were in my dream last night but for like someone that i've never met before to be dreaming about me it's like dude why are you so obsessed with me man <laughs> Just so mean. Get a life, buddy. Quit thinking about me. I'm living in your head rent-free while you sleep. And funny thing is, I was actually incepting your brain. I did that shit on purpose. Please find me, dude. Follow the cat. I, this is real. I was trying to incept it into your mind. I need help. When you leave your house tomorrow, follow the cat, and you will find me. Yo, this is some good fan art, too. Look at this. Drew, Danny, Drew, and Curtis while watching their videos. Dude, these are nice. Look at this. That is some good pencil art, man. Does anybody know what shampoo and conditioner Danny uses? Yo, I'm trying to smell like Danny. Anybody know what he puts in his hair? You probably just want to like do my hair routine, right? Is that that's why you're asking? I hope. Honestly, I just use whatever shampoo and conditioner Laura buys, and she buys like a different one every time. I blow dry it and then I put this in it. Literally, I'll tell you right now, it's this. Blow dry your hair and put this in it, and you'll be looking like me in no time, all right? And you'll be smelling like me too. So you're welcome. Yo, anybody know what toilet paper Danny uses? I'm trying to get my butt feeling like his. Oh, looks like we got some sort of meme in here. Give me all the emoji options. I don't use any of these emojis. I guess maybe the laughing one. I really like the one that's like this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I sure hope you do. I carved your face into it. It's yeah. a good meme. Carved your face into it, a way to put it. Yeah, that is that is terrifying. <laughs> Does anybody know what shampoo Danny uses in his hair? I think that's pretty much it. That seemed like a good crop there of Reddit content. So thank you guys for submitting to the subreddit. Blah, 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 dude. Does this guy ever shut up?
Can this guy just shut up for one second? I swear to God, this guy needs to shut up for one second so I can talk about our sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Before I started using HelloFresh, like every year, I feel like my New Year's resolution was like, I wanna stop eating out so much. I wanna stop like scrambling every night trying to figure out what I wanna eat for dinner and going and driving there and getting it. It would be so much easier if I could just cook at home. Your boy is also often too lazy to go to the grocery store. So um, that's why HelloFresh is actually the best. HelloFresh will send you three meals with pre-portioned ingredients all you have to do is do a little bit of prep throw it in the oven or on the stove and you've got a delicious home-cooked meal right in front of you they've got a variety of recipes to choose from and each week you get to choose what recipes they send you so you never feel like you're eating like the same thing over and over if you're a person like me that only knows how to cook like two dishes you don't gotta worry because they're gonna send you a variety of stuff I, I've loved pretty much everything they've ever sent me so it gets two thumbs up from this guy also if you're trying to set a New Year's resolution around the amount of calories you take in they've got calorie smart meals and they also have carb smart meals if you're watching your Carbs. One of my favorite things about HelloFresh is they send you pre-portioned ingredients. So that means they're not sending you a ton of food that you're not going to use and you end up wasting. Which, along with the fact that HelloFresh's packaging material is recycled content, makes HelloFresh a very sustainable option. So if this sounds good to you and you want to get some delicious, scrumptious meals from HelloFresh, then head on over to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code 2 danny 2 furious 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. I don't even know what those are, but they sound awesome. So head on over there, use the code. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out HelloFresh. Bye-bye.